Hello there, all of you beautiful people out there in YouTube world. This is Photopia with another episode of my Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 time lapse, uh, time lapses that I do for uh, some contests. So it has been uh, a hot minute since I have last played Roller Coaster Tycoon uh, for a number of reasons. So it's obviously also been a while since I have uploaded a video of me playing. I do have some stuff in the hopper of uh, more recent videos that I had completed for a, a previous contest, but I just completed this contest, so I figured to get back into the swing of things, I, I do a video with something that's a little bit uh, fresher in my mind having just completed this one. I'm also trying something new with this video. It was suggested to me to kind of narrate a little bit of what I was doing and what I was building, so I'm not sure if it's really a format that I'm going to end up using a lot or all of the time, but I figured I'd uh, go ahead and give it a whirl for this one. So uh, buckle up, because you're going to hear a lot of my voice. Uh, if you don't want to do that, feel free to mute, but while you're muting, uh, make sure that uh, you hit the like button and subscribe. Not that it'll do anything for you, but it actually might help me uh, get my butt into gear and get some of these videos upload a little bit more. Um, so without further ado, welcome to Snake Island. So I am getting pretty fancy, if I say so myself, with my video editing. But uh, anyway, so this is a uh, park that I built for the Jerk Link Ride Building Contest. It's a monthly contest. This is actually round 20 uh, on the server for a ride creation contest. It's actually been two years. We just surpassed, well I say we, but I mean Jerk Link. He just surpassed two years. Uh, of being on Discord and having a server, and I just think that that's absolutely phenomenal. But uh, so this is round 20. Uh, the point of this one was to build a switchback coaster. So, how the ride uh, creation contests work is they run roughly a month. You have a task, you have to complete the task. There are always seven rules, um, and then you submit it, and you have the community judge for your um, your creation. So. I, if you can tell, I've kind of been going back and forth with this roller coaster. Um, I'm actually really happy with the contest this month simply because the way my roller coaster layouts are absolute garbage. They are trash, it's a dumpster fire. Anybody on the server knows that it's just not my cup of tea. Now I really like decorating, um, but as far as layouts go, it's just, it's not my thing, which is really ironic considering this is Roller Coaster Tycoon, so you would think one should be able to build a roller coaster, uh, but alas, here we are. So again, the point of this contest was to create a switchback coaster. You can kind of see I have some spikes there where the coaster will go up and then it will come back and it will reverse. So what, how Dirk Link uh, explained it is that it's a full circuit coaster and it rolls back at some point of the track and it does part of the circuit backwards. It's not really a shuttle type of coaster with like a shuttle loop or a boomerang. It has, it has to follow somewhat of a different track when it's going backwards. Uh, so what I had to do is I had to watch a tutorial uh, on how to do this because like I said, um, roller coasters, <laughs> their layouts aren't quite my thing. And then also it does take a little bit of editing with the tile inspector, which is something that you're only able to do in Open Roller Coaster Tycoon, um, the uh, open source game. So this is on a 40 by 40 plot. And you can kind of see that the way that I'm building it, I have a certain idea in mind because I'm really trying to take people's suggestions and their, their constructive criticisms in my previous uh, ride contests, my ride creations, um, to uh, continually get better. Now, there are some people on the server who are just, it's, their, it's a madhouse, what they can do, the tricks that they use uh, the, with Open Roller Coaster Tycoon, you know, using the tile inspector, 
it just using rides how they weren't originally intended to be used, but they just create such phenomenal, phenomenal um, parks. So I'm really, I'm never going to be uh, up to there, uh, up to them, uh, but that's fine because rule number seven, as per usual, is to have fun. And that's kind of what I try to do. That's not what I kind of try to do. It, it is what I try to do in general. Though, you know, a number one placement for anybody who has listened this far, you know, feel free to just rate me those tens. I, I won't say no to that. But back to <laughs> the, uh, the actual creation of this roller coaster. So I try to take people's suggestions and I really try to implement them. And then I also do a lot of research, if you will. Uh, I go on to uh, any designs online, which is new element designs, and then I look at other uh, people's creations and other parks, and it's such a wonderful community because you can go through and you can download other people's parks and really look at kind of the items that they're using, the layouts that they've done, which is what I've done here. Most of what I've done on that roller coaster, uh, just like the, uh, the corkscrew, uh, supports there that's already been done that's not something fancy that I came up with but really you got to use what what the community has has already shown is is good stuff so another thing that I really tried to work on uh, for this contest is to really only work on one area at a time I have a slight issue where I don't quite finish my builds um, with anybody there's always just so much stuff going on in real life that uh, I always end up right up to the wire and uh, the last ride creation contest my bobsled coaster I was still able to submit it but it wasn't a finished park and really my my uh, my score reflected it so I'm really focusing on being able to finish the actual objective of this ride creation contest which is um, the switchback roller coaster so the idea, the theming that I had, I went with a jungle theme, which you can tell is, is where we're going with this, uh, simply because in the defunct challenge that I placed really, really well in, which is a video that I'll eventually put out there, but it's just, it's been a while since I've done it. But I placed really well in it, so I figured I might as well stick with the jungle theme because it's something I'm comfortable with, and it really allowed me to um, focus on things other than the theming. Uh, when it comes to this and really focus on the, the park itself and, and the buildings and uh, just the little things that really bring it to life. Originally I had wanted this to, uh, the theme to be a, um, a research facility that had kind of fallen uh, to the wayside with, you know, a, a large giant snake, kind of think like Jurassic Park, but snake-like. Uh, so I named, I ended up naming my coaster Steel Constrictor, and that's kind of the vibe I was going for. But sometimes I do get a little bit too creative for my own good. <laughs> so uh, I definitely tried to scale it back a little bit. But uh, I'm, I am using tricks here that other people, like I said, have already done. Um, like that bridge that you just saw. Now, unfortunately, sometimes I do get stuck in trying to use tricks that I see elsewhere that don't necessarily quite fit in with what I'm trying to build. And I think that that bridge is, is really a great example of how I sometimes get into that rut. Because looking back now, while I was building it, I thought it was kind of neat. But looking back now, I don't necessarily think that that bridge really added anything uh, to my park. I kind of wish I went with a slightly different style, but it was something that I had seen with taking the queue line for the paved path and connecting all the squares and, and just using that as um, a piece and you know using the tile inspector to hide uh, the, the path normally. But looking back at it now, uh, I'm not quite sure I would go that route again, but at least it lets me expand kind of into some of the other part of the park. I thought that, of course, the um, the River Rapids trick was, was a great one. I tried something new for myself of putting the River Rapids under the water and not putting the water below it. When I think it comes out to be a really cool effect. I know that other people have probably done that before, but I was pretty impressed with myself because I did come up with that like in my own head by myself, even though I know 100% it's probably been done before. Um, 
But anyway, <laughs> back to me trying to be innovative. Uh, I'm, I'm really not innovative. So I actually ended up with this uh, wooden coaster track. I looked at somebody else's park and I can't quite recall whose it was, but it had been over a waterfall and they had this wooden coaster track and they, they put another wooden coaster track over it and it had really looked kind of cool. It was more mine themed. So I tried that out there. I end up trying to do some custom supports you see with those towers and everything and it really wasn't quite working. So I like the look of it. So I end up, as you can see right here, as I actually end up using the wooden coaster track to, to make support systems uh, for the, the track itself, which is a, just a twister roller coaster in the game. I am told by all of the roller coaster aficionados out there and on these servers that this is kind of an it's an RMC hybrid kind of coaster um, with with the metal on top of the wood. But please please don't quote me on that because it's probably wrong. So I ended up doing that. I end up trying to again finish this corner, and finish this area, which is something that I really have trouble with because I'm a little bit ADD when it comes to this and I try to jump around. But at least I knew if life came up, I, I would have this part finished. But I end up trying to work on some of the other stuff. And that's kind of where I, I am a little proud of, of the, the stuff that I built. So this actually took uh, about 14 hours uh, to, to build this park, a little less than 14 hours. I split it up into 15 different building sessions because with uh, I don't really have time to sit down for eight hours and build. I kind of wish that I did, but on the other hand, I also am glad that I don't because it allows me time when I'm just doing day-to-day -day stuff or, you know, watching TV or, or even sometimes at work and you daydream a little bit. It gives you time to really come up with ideas. And right here is one of those things that I got commented on quite often. And I'm, I'm if I do say so myself, this is also one of my favorite parts of the park. But being able to break that up into 15 different sessions, I was able to kind of come up with this idea and use ideas from other parks and really make it my own. Whereas if I had sat down for eight hours straight to build this, I don't know if I would necessarily have, uh, have come up with this idea. So 14 hours uh, across about 15 uh, building sessions is, is kind of what got me here, but then this also put me in a little bit of a pickle because right about at this time I was really cutting it close to deadline so I'm trying to make these buildings look good again coming in the corner of the park because I need to black tile I can now it is only a 40 by a, a 40 by 40 park so having to black tile um, that small of a park is in my head not a great thing to do but spoiler alert is I did have to black tile because I did run out of time I did submit my park and I had an accidental piece in it uh, which ended up giving me a half a point point deduction so I'm always running out of time I really wanted to create a custom flat ride here I ended up watching a Brian Antrill sick video uh, to do so and it was I just I couldn't get it to work I knew I was running out of time I knew I had to get something on this park uh, before uh, I, I had to submit it so I ended up tossing that because I couldn't get it to work putting in just some standard flat rides which funny enough somebody did comment on uh, having a little bit more rides and having perhaps even the custom flat ride so whoever mentioned that uh, just to let you know I did try to do it I just absolutely ran out of time so for this one um, also the isometric view was a beast on trying to make this better I've never really actually done a cut of a standard flat ride and tried to make custom scenery around it to make it look a little bit better so I used a lot of tips I actually watched quite a few videos on this as well uh, in order to do it so I make this carousel, um, I end up, boy, what do I do here? A lot of, a lot of vegetation, which some people don't really like doing it. I find it kind of cathartic to go through and make your vegetation 
kind of nice. If there's one thing that I'm never really... I say this now, but I probably will be in the future. I'm never really marked down on really tree spamming. Um, I do take time to make it kind of look natural. I'm lucky. I live, you know, in the country, nowhere near a city, so I actually do know what nature looks like. So I have that uh, kind of up on me. You can see now I'm really running out of time. I ended up deleting um, my truck ride. It was going to be a safari ride. Um, and I ended up having to delete it. So pretty much right here is about the park that I ended up uh, submitting. I'm happy to say that if it weren't for my point deduction, I would have tied for 10th place, which is the best that I have ever done. So we're about coming to that time. So uh, I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope my voice wasn't too grating and uh, I'll see you next time.